a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Michael McCormack, Australian politician. Michael Francis McCormack is an Australian politician who has been a member of the House of Representatives since 2010, representing the division of Riverina for the National Party. He has been the leader of the National Party and Deputy Prime Minister of Australia since February 2018. Early Life McCormack was born in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales. His maternal grandfather was born in Akrata. Greece. His other three grandparents were born in New South Wales. He grew up on the family farms in nearby Mara and Brucedale. He attended St. Michael's Regional High School and Trinity Senior High School. After leaving school, McCormack took up a cadetship at the Daily Advertiser, the local daily newspaper. He was appointed editor of the paper in 1991, aged 27, making him reputedly the youngest newspaper editor in Australia. McCormack was sacked from the Daily Advertiser in February 2002. In response, more than 20 journalists, photographers and other editorial staff staged a 24-hour walkout. McCormack went on to sue the Riverina Media Group for unfair dismissal, and in 2003 settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. He subsequently started his own media and publishing company, MSS Media Services and Solutions. McCormack also served as a director of the Murrumbidgee Turf Club from 1994 to 2003, as well as its official historian. Political Career McCormack was campaign director for Kehal, the Nationals MP for Riverina, at the 2004 and 2007 federal elections. Hull announced her retirement from politics in April 2010, and McCormack subsequently won pre-selection for her seat at the 2010 election. The Liberals stood a candidate in Riverina for the first time since 1998, but that had little impact on the result, with the Nationals recording a 3.6-point positive swing on a two-party preferred basis. Ministerial Posts after the coalition won the 2013 election, McCormack was made Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister for Finance, Matthias Corman. He was later appointed Assistant Minister to the Deputy Prime Minister, Warren Truss, in September 2015. In February 2016, he became Assistant Minister for Defence under Mraz Payne. In July 2016, after the 2016 election, McCormack was appointed Minister for small business. In that capacity, he was responsible for the Australian Bureau of Statistics, which conducted the 2016 National Census, and the Australian Marriage Law Postal Survey during his tenure. He opposes same-sex marriage, but voted in favour of the Marriage Amendment Act 2017 after promising to vote in line with the survey result in his constituency. In a ministerial reshuffle in December 2017, McCormack was made Minister for Defence Personnel, Minister for Veterans Affairs, and Minister assisting the Prime Minister for the Centenary of Anzac, positions which had previously been held by Dentian. National Party Leadership when Warren Truss retired as leader of the National Party in February 2016, McCormack publicly contemplated standing as his replacement. He eventually chose not to run for the leadership, allowing Barnaby Joyce to win the position unopposed. He did stand for the deputy leadership, but lost to Senator Fiona Nash reportedly by only a single vote. In December 2017, McCormack again contested the deputy leadership of the National Party, which had been made vacant as a result of Fiona Nash's disqualification from Parliament. He was defeated by Bridget McKenzie, once again losing by only one vote. Following the resignation of Barnaby Joyce in February 2018, McCormack announced that he would contest the resulting leadership election. Several other MPs publicly endorsed him for the position, and the only other announced candidate, David Gillespie, withdrew his candidacy the day before the election. George Christensen launched a last-minute bid for the leadership, but was defeated by McCormack, who succeeded Joyce as Deputy Prime Minister of Australia. Personal Life McCormack married Catherine Shaw in 1986, with whom he has three children. In 1995, he became the owner of the biggest collection of bound volumes of the Times anywhere in the world outside London, 
acquiring 900 volumes from Charles Sturt University when it ran out of storage space. Controversy In 1993, McCormack published a controversial editorial in which he blamed homosexuality for AIDS and criticized pride parades. He wrote that, a week never goes by any more that homosexuals and their sordid behavior don't become further entrenched in society. Unfortunately gays are here and, if the disease their unnatural acts helped spread doesn't wipe out humanity, they're here to stay. He also wrote, how can these people call? for rights when they're responsible for the greatest medical dilemma known to man acquired immune deficiency syndrome. The article was the subject of three complaints to the Australian Press Council, though none were upheld. In further editorials, from the same period he said he am not sorry, why should I be? About his views, branded himself homophobic. McCormack subsequently wrote a second editorial apologizing for the first. His remarks resurfaced when he embarked on a career in politics, and he issued further apologies in 2010 and 2017, stating that he had grown and learned not only to tolerate, but to accept all people regardless of their sexual orientation or any other trait or feature which makes each of us different and unique. In another editorial, he also called for the return of caning in high schools, saying there is nothing wrong, in my opinion, with students being given a stinging reminder about how to conduct themselves, compared women's soccer to an egg and spoon and advocated for the death penalty. Despite the apologies McCormack has issued, the controversy was once again mentioned after he became Australia's Deputy Prime Minister. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?